Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. This Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto story is a never-ending rabbit hole. Last week, we found out that Shirley Strawberry of the Steve Harvey Morning Show had married an accused scammer who isn't trusted around children or animals. We heard about his girlfriend in Florida, his million-dollar scheme, and even learned that Shirley's one and only child and her child's two children are victims of Ernesto's, and he can't go anywhere around them as well. Now I'm finding out more about this woman, Erica King Hughley Rothschild, who purportedly pretended to be an attorney on his behalf, and he also shared a house with her right next door to Shirley, according to reports. Baby, when I say I can't make this stuff up, I can't. We are going to get into that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this case and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Let's do a full recap of this story and then we're gonna break down the new stuff. So there was a court hearing last week and a man whose name is Ernest Williams but goes by Ernesto was being accused for fraud, theft by taking, operating a credit repair company, and having images on his computer of children depicting conduct that shouldn't be seen by anyone. Now, no matter how much they tried to not say her name in court by calling her SS, it was revealed that this man, Ernest, is married to the Shirley Strawberry of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. And according to the letter she wrote on his behalf, that's her man, and she gonna stick beside him. And that's, and that's what you're gonna settle for. I'm gonna stick beside him. So many question why was Ernest being investigated in the first place? Now, according to police reports and news outlets, Ernest was renting a home with this woman, Erica King Hughley Rothschild, and had reportedly not made payments on this home and was accused of rental fraud. Police say their investigation first started at this home on Pine Grove Road months ago. Investigators say after Williams and King hadn't paid rent for a while, detectives started looking into their financial transactions and it led them to their extensive scheme. So in June of 2022, the police began an investigation on these two for rental fraud. They're living in a property together, they're not making payments, and they were also making repairs to this rental home. Why, I don't know, but they were making repairs with hot checks. So the home, according to reports, is on the 900 block of Pine Grove Road. Now y'all just saw the house, right? You're going to see why I am doing this in a second but I do not know the address of the house. So I go on Google Maps and I go to the 900 block of Pine Grove Road and I search for this house. The 900 block can't be that long from 900 to 1000. So, okay, good. We're riding down the street. We're looking for the home. All we have is a picture and bam. There you go. The home was put up for rent on January 5th, 2022, and they took it off the market on the 14th. So someone snatched it. Someone began renting it. The police start investigating this property for rental fraud five months later in June. The renters get kicked out and it's listed for rent again on September 16th. So if you all remember, Shirley and Ernest had been served with papers for not paying rent. And I had the address covered in my last video, but they no longer live there. The house was actually listed to be sold May of this year, but they didn't sell it. So the listing was removed in June. So I'm not giving out anyone's current address. I'm telling you where they used to live. And it was 980 Pine Grove Road. So when I go on Pine Grove Road, we're riding down the road again. And I'm looking at Pine Grove Road at this rental property that they had for like 8,000 a month. We look next door. And what do you see? Now, I didn't even question Erica at first. I'm not gonna lie. Looking at her, I said, Ernest isn't doing anything with her. This is just his scamming partner. When they said they live together, I was like, oh, they got the houses wrong. Him and Shirley live on Pine Grove Road. There's no way in the world he has this chick on Pine Grove Road. When I did my last story and I brought up rental fraud, I thought they were talking about this house because this house is on Pine Grove Road but they was talking about the house next door that he had with Erica. I cannot make this up. Y'all saw the news article with the police talking, 
saying that this was the house they investigated. And they would align themselves with their victims with promises of being able to grow their brands, their missions, their life goals, their social media following. Police say their investigation first started at this home on Pine Grove Road months ago. Investigators say after Williams and King hadn't paid rent for a while, Detectives started looking into their financial transactions. Y'all saw the court docs and I released the address of Shirley and Ernesto's old residence showing that they had not been making payments. You guys took a trip down Pine Grove Road with me, the 900 block, and we saw where these houses were located. And before y'all come for me, Channel 2 News says that they was doing the dirt inside of Shirley's house, but Channel 5 News said they was doing it next door. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. It all started in June with this house on Pine Grove Road. Roswell police began investigating the two for rental fraud. They say 57-year-old Ernest Williams and 46-year-old Erica King had not been paying rent and were bouncing checks for home repairs. But as detectives looked into that case, they discovered an even bigger scheme. Now, Erica's name is nowhere on this dispossessory report. So why they're saying that she was not making payments, why they're saying she was writing bad checks for this particular house, I don't know. Now, either Ernesto is the best scammer alive or you got some of the dumbest chicks in your hair. Uh, his co-defendant in that case has a consent signature bond uh, that has been signed off on. I believe Mr. Majeski can tell you more about that when he gets to it. Um, he has never himself been involved or accused or convicted of anything that involves um, uh, a person passing themselves off as a lawyer or impersonating anybody uh, ever in life. Now y'all just heard it. His attorney, Mr. Lewis, said that someone was impersonating an attorney. That someone was Miss Erica. Miss Erica tried to impersonate an attorney to get Mr. Ernest out of jail. So on July 7th, 2022, Mr. Ernest is locked up. This is for the conspiracy to commit a felony, the theft by deception, theft of services, writing the bad check, and the child P case. Soon as sis went in there trying to play Captain Saber scammer, she got aggravated identity fraud felony, false statements, false statements or writings, forgery in the first degree, impersonating another, knowingly alter, conceal, or cover up, knowingly filing a false document, unauthorized practice of law, forgery in the first degree, identity theft, it goes on and on. Sis put Rothschild at the end of her name and really thought she had some power. Ernest, what did you do? And the crazy thing is, is that Erica was booked on July 23rd, 2022, but she had just gotten out of jail. She went into jail July 9th and got out on July 12th. She was actually locked up that time for having three warrants. One was for theft by taking, one was for criminal trespassing when she actually stabbed one of her family members' car tires, and the other one says fugitive from justice for fingerprintable charge. That's for Leon County, Florida. Cab jail calls where he's talking about going to see his girlfriend in Florida. No further contact with Erica Hughley. No further contact with your co-defendant, Erica Hughley. He's talking about going to see his girlfriend in Florida. Erica, who also goes under Erica King, Hughley Rothschild, does have a place in Florida as well, y'all don't forget. He's considered dangerous. Um, there are several pending warrants that will be coming out that based on their content alone, um, there's a great likelihood that he's, you know, he's someone who commit further felonies. Really, I understand marriage is supposed to be to death do you part, but girl, you do not want that man to be the death of you. And I'm not even talking about physically, but mentally, the mental strain that this has got to be putting on you right now. I know it's not working. Carla, Tommy, somebody just go and just slap the mess out. Girl, I know you know better. I know you know better. Your man got a straight up hood rat going out there impersonating attorneys to make sure she get him out of there, girl. You are not his number one. You are now his number two. You better take a step back and look at the situation. Anyway, what I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about all of this stuff surrounding Shirley Strawberry, Mr. Ernesto Williams, and Erica King Hughley Rothschild? Y'all leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.